The normally placid city government of Milledgeville is in turmoil. The mayor has stepped down after falling ill and having his insurance company become the target of a criminal investigation. The city council is at odds over a proposal to combine the city and county administrations, and city officials have been accused of ethics violations. The latest development is rippling like thunder through the city. A special master has ruled that the city manager indeed did violate the city's ethics law. It all began when a proposal that would combine the governments of Milledgeville and Baldwin County set off a firestorm of opposition from some members of the city government. Chat Daniel, president of Century Bank and Trust, wrote an op-ed published in the Union Recorder favoring the proposition. In it, he said some city council members were selfishly protecting their turf and suggested that they had not read the consolidation proposal. Soon afterwards, city officials moved over $5 million in public funds from his bank and deposited it into annuities and other high-risk accounts, effectively gambling with public funds. Over $2.5 million of that money was deposited in annuity accounts, which are not on the list of approved account types for public funds mandated by the Georgia Municipal Association. And in late February, there, were, uh, there, there was a directive drafted which asked for us to uh, sign off uh, to ask Mr. Jarrett, the city manager, to move the funds away from Century Bank. Reynolds secretly recorded a meeting held behind closed doors about the movement of the money from Century Bank. We might want to consider moving our funds. I just, I, I, I have, yeah, I, I have no, no Yes, sir. What's wrong with retaliation? Yeah. It's, it's the way you do business. A special master ruled that the council's actions violated the city's ethics ordinance. It is unclear how the council plans to respond moving forward. We'll be looking at this tumultuous situation in more detail in the GC360 episodes to come. So be sure to tune in next week for a closer look at the state of our government. Stay tuned and talk to us online if you have information that might be helpful in our reporting. For GC360, this is Caleb Tillman.